So, what do you think? Do I start with the Kurt Warner story? Or is that coming on too strong? Well, why don't you catch up with her first before you go on to your little ramblings? Oh, Lord knows Gracie's had a long semester. I just want everything to go smooth. Hey, Gracie. How you been? Um... <laughs> Brad, this is my mom and dad. Mom and dad, this is Brad. You know, um, Victor is staying over for the weekend. He told us you haven't talked to him in forever. Did he now? Kids got a bright future out of him. Might want to keep in touch. I mean, networking is important and all. I get it. You know what? Who wants pudding? Ooh. So, um, how did you guys, how do you guys meet? Oh, we met at the gym. He's actually the captain of the gymnastics team. All right, who likes banana? Um, currently, he's applying for an internship with NASA. I mean, it's a long shot, but considering his grades, I told him to go for it. Well, I guess it's important to follow your heart. You should meet his parents. They're the sweetest. <laughs> Probably not the cleanest. Excuse me? Rodney! What is your problem? Can we address the monkey, I mean, elephant in the room? You're dating an ape. Mom! Well, <laughs> I would admit, when, when I first met your father, he, he wasn't the best smelling in the bar, but at least he was a human. You're unbelievable! You're you want to talk unbelievable? How's this? Freshman, walking around campus with a primate strapped to her hand? Come on, now. It's not a good look. I can't believe you guys! You're actually disgusting for that. Come on, Brad. Let's go. Look, I'm sure you're angry. Heck, I'm angry. What my parents said was wrong. You have every right to be mad. But you gotta communicate with me. We're a team, remember? Oh, I get it. The cold shoulder routine. I have always respected you. I'm not perfect at it, but I'd like if you could try to do the same. Hi, Victor. It's me. Gracie. Hey, Gracie. Uh, how are you? I'm sorry about your parents. They're jerks. Who cares what they think? Right. Um, so how's your weekend? Like, doing anything fun recently, or...? 
Well, actually, I was thinking about heading out to see a movie. Really? The only problem is, I don't have a date. Look, Gracie, I know what this is about. Okay, you know I've liked you since we were kids, and I still like you. But this isn't the way to do things. Just like ghosting me for like three months and not making eye contact during dinner. And now suddenly you want to go on a date with me? <sighs> okay, look, I I get I get that things have been rough on you guys, but I can't be your bounce back. You're right, Victor. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay, Gracie. Just, just get some rest, okay? This sounds like you need it. Thank you. Yeah, don't mention it. <laughs> he wrote you a letter? Read it clear as day. He said to meet him here around 10 a.m. You know... My mom, she used to tell me all the time about my aunt and how she developed schizophrenia as a kid and... All I'm saying is that mental problems run in the family. Well, she hasn't shown any signs of... I know, I know. It's just... We don't even know how she got that monkey. What if she blacked out and stole him from the zoo? The only thing she stole was my heart. I know we started things off on the wrong foot. I wanted to clear the air with you guys. I've been a real jerk. I admit it. I don't deserve you at all. We all make mistakes. I'm just as guilty as you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. You can talk? I know. I'm a bilingual monkey. It sets me apart from the rest of my family. Believe it or not, they struggle to accept me too. When I stare into Gracie's eyes, I can see the whole world reflected in them. She is my world. Now I know how much you guys mean to her. I don't want to tear your family apart. But when we talk about following our hearts, we love each other. Look, we can't make you approve of our relationship. We can't change your heart. But what we can do is ask for your respect. Come here, you. We just want what's best for our daughter. What we want, and what she needs. You are. <laughs>